Hello everyone, it's the third day of Infocom and I am at the Barco booth with Barbara. So Barbara, what do you do? Hi, good morning. My name is Barbara. I'm product manager at Barco within the Immersive Experience Unit. So, okay. Yeah. So the booth looks amazing. You're showing a wide range of solutions, including projectors and, and software solutions and things like that. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about Barco, the company, and what you're trying to um, uh, explain or cover at the show today. Okay, um, so Barco actually is a Belgian company. Uh, mm -hmm. We are based in Kortrijk, Belgium. We work worldwide, so we are globally known for uh, our premium image quality when it comes to projection. Mm -hmm. Here today at our booth, we uh, want to offer our customers a wide range of our solutions, mm -hmm. uh, ranging from single chip projectors up to our three chip projectors. Mm -hmm. Each of them has its own advantages and benefits. So, uh, and we are here today mainly uh, at Infocom to present our newest uh, QDX projector. So it's a three chip projector, mm -hmm. which really offers this premium Barco known uh, image quality. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have those two uh, brightness levels coming into the picture. Mm -hmm. so 35k lumen, 45k lumen, mm -hmm. and available in uh, different resolutions. So WU, 4K UHD, 4K native, mm -hmm. both laser phosphor as well as uh, nat uh, as native. Okay, so one thing that stood, stood out about this unit is the QDX uses, uses a native three chip mm -hmm. DLP, which makes it incredibly unique because mm -hmm. most of the time DLP projectors utilize some sort of pixel shifting technology. Mm -hmm. So this is a very unique beam. Indeed. And it's and you said it's also RGB laser? It's also RGB laser, so we're planning to launch that in uh, beginning of quarter two. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also in the pipeline. Today we're, uh, we only have the uh, laser phosphor to ship, mm -hmm. but the RGB is uh, ready to be launched uh, in quarter two. Now there was also another kind of unique um, option that can go with this and that's mm -hmm. kind of the external cooling indeed so can you talk a little bit about that yeah this external cooler is really a differentiator for us also when it comes to competition so it really makes we have one here exposed we have one uh, static unit on the other side mm -hmm. so it really makes that if you use this external cooler you can put more of the qdx's together mm -hmm. because when it comes to heat dissipation two-thirds of it goes via the mm -hmm. external coolers one-third goes via the projector mm -hmm. so in terms of heat it's a benefit mm -hmm. in terms of noise level uh, mm -hmm. we really decrease uh, the noise level a lot when mm -hmm. using the external cooler mm -hmm. and thirdly also the lifetime of the projector uh, increases by 15 percent okay so, so yeah. I thought that was pretty neat because you do you would think 45,000 this is 45,000 mm -hmm. lumens mm -hmm. you would think one but in a big professional application you could you could definitely have multiples and he indeed can indeed. definitely be can be a factor the other thing that was really neat was there's um, kind of a rigging solution for it mm -hmm. that is actually motorized. Mm -hmm. So you can make adjustments to and level it mm -hmm. and do all that stuff without having to climb up yep. and make those subtle adjustments. So I thought that was a really cool yep, accessory indeed. as well. So the other thing I noticed is you guys you guys got this, which is um, the number one DLP brand in the Americas right. for, um, in 2024. Yes. And I, I think that has to do with your wide range of products, correct? Yes, indeed. So uh, Barco started with this three chip technology projectors, mm -hmm. but recently we also saw this opportunity into the market for single chip uh, projectors. Mm -hmm. So with the launch of our G series, so G50, G62, G100, mm -hmm. we saw that this market is really there to even take it a step further. Um, so also, uh, Last year we launched our i600, mm -hmm. it's uh, our newest single chip 4K UHD projector mm -hmm. um, at 120 hertz. Mm -hmm. So it's really top notch for a single chip projector, it really outperforms competition. So having also i600 next to those G series in the interchangeable lens uh, projection market, um, we saw that uh, really this uh, interest in Barco as a single chip producer was increasing a lot, mm -hmm. which made us uh, based on the latest uh, figures as the number one uh, brand for the single chip interchangeable lens. Well, well, Barco has a very good reputation when it comes to projection. So everybody knows you can do the big ones, mm -hmm. the, the higher end models. So, so being able to take that expertise and trickle it down into something like a G50, which could be used in boardrooms, you know, higher education, right. um, those types of things is mm -hmm. probably one of the reasons mm -hmm. why people are gravitating to you guys. Yeah. The other thing you mentioned that was kind of cool and you used it as a, to show kind of a unique demonstration of it is the ability of the projectors to do higher frame rates. Mm -hmm. And in the booth, you're, all, you're showing not only projectors, but you're also showing 
um, direct emitting LEDs. But one of the demos you're doing is a, is a demonstration where you put on one set of glasses mm -hmm. and you see one image, mm -hmm. and then you put on another set of glasses yeah. and you see, see another. See the second one. Having the ability to display basically two different videos at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like they took the 3D, yep. and if, instead of it being left eye, right eye, it's show one and show two. Mm -hmm. And the higher frame rate, I noticed, really um, eliminated all of the flicker that yep. you would normally see. Mm -hmm. And when you put the glasses on, you literally see two different shows. Mm -hmm. And the higher brightnesses now means that even when you cut the brightness in half, it's still a lot of brightness, yep. so it still looks colorful and yes, vibrant. Yes, correct. Yes. There were some really cool other demonstrations that I, that I got to see here mm -hmm. and it just shows that not only are you making great projectors and displays you're also doing all of the stuff that goes along with the product yep. all right so Barbara thank you very thank much you for your time thank you and we will talk to you next year at Infocom 2026. all right see you then thank you